Hello, it's currently 4.25 in Melbourne right now. Uh, it's on a Sunday. So with the concept of the vlogs, I want to keep it more like informal because on the weekly submissions, I will talk more about my assignments, more job related, perhaps more on a more concrete substance about what I've learned and what I could take away from uh, interning in Melbourne. But with the vlogs, I want to depart from that and maybe include other aspects of staying in Melbourne, living in this city for what is already my third week. Um, and, you know, include a lot more aspects of those into the vlogs just to give you guys a clear picture of uh, how's it going so far. So um, this week, although it's the third week, it's probably my first vlog. So apologies if it's not <laughs> too natural. I've never really done stuff like this before, but um, so this week I did a lot of uh, private business investment stuff, um, basically writing up reports, and um, basically my life in Melbourne so far is is a very standard office life. You Monday to Friday you you show up for work. It's a it's a nine to five thirty type of routine, but with with the office, I feel like it is way more relaxed than in Hong Kong. In the sense that, if you uh, if you finish what you're supposed to do for the day, and you get the okay from your supervisor, you're free to go. So, so if you kind of eat your lunch really quickly, and you kind of just focus on being as productive as you can be, you you could look at probably just beating the traffic and leaving at five or something like that. So it is diff it's definitely a departure from the usual Hong Kong work culture that you are accustomed to. But, you know, at the same time, I feel like it's something that really rewards productivity because it's not like you can just uh, do something, kind of just half-ass it and then uh, just turn it in and just leave, right? You have to get the okay from your supervisor. So you have the quality step and it also incentivizes you to um, work as concentrated as possible so I really like this method of I really like this type of work culture and uh, so far the guys are really great you know they're very welcoming um, it's you know it's here and there kind of a lot of people when they when they're doing um, when in the middle of work and sometimes we just relax by engaging in banter and stuff like that um, learned a lot about the country so far i realized that uh, none of the sports that i follow is reciprocated by most of my colleagues um in the sense that i'm a huge basketball fan uh, but here it's more like aussie rules football so in the sense that um i've been like uh engaging in small conversation with some of my colleagues i've i've tried to understand the rules it's quite complicated and I feel like it's it's not it's not some of my sport, but most of the small conversation in office can resolve revolves around Aussie rules footy or footy as they call it. And um, during the weekends, mostly I this is the time when I do a lot of my uh, house chores. You know, just uh, laundry day, going to the supermarket, restocking on uh, food, need that to survive, um, and basically just go around downtown the central business district mostly just to expose myself in the layout of the city um, central business district if I could uh, compare it, it, it it's like it's like a segment of Jim Sa Choi grafted into the center of Admiralty it's very weird you see like a, yeah I think that is the most appropriate description it's like imagine Certain, certain strands of Tim Zachoy just in the middle of Admiralty and then you expand Admiralty to like four or five times its size. That is Melbourne CBD. Um, yeah, so going around, it, it, is, it is very multicultural. Um, my first, like my first week here, I, uh, the previous intern from Lime Rock, uh, Aaron Kwong kind of showed me around and help me got a little bit help me got acclimated to the city just to know where to find the things that i need how to walk around because it's um first thing is google maps here because of the prop presumably because of the 
data connection is extremely unreliable. So the first time, the first week I remember I was here, it was just difficult to kind of just navigate my way. So it's just more, you learn, you learn more how to, uh, I, probably old fashioned, but I mean, it's a, you learn how to navigate your way through landmarks and spotting which are supposedly landmarks and which aren't because in Melbourne, it's such a fusion of old and new. You have buildings that look like they're from straight up from the 18th century and it's currently still in use. So it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, interesting and exciting in a way. So, yeah, so far, um, I don't know what else to add. So far, it's it's been really great. I I live like uh, I live basically just six kilometers away from the CBD. So it's it's the Hong Kong equivalent of going to uh, going to work in Central but living in Tinhao or Causeway Bay. So it's not it's it's not that bad to be honest. Um, the residential area here is quite peaceful. Um, I've I've really adjusted really well here. It's been really great, and the great thing is, um, it's really as opposed to Hong Kong. It's really hard to get your circadian rhythm right because a lot of things happen at night here in the residential district. It's more everything's dead by ten thirty, so you literally have nothing else to do. So you might as well sleep. So it's uh, that's that's one of the nice adjustment when coming from Hong Kong to Melbourne. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of experimenting with the vlog, going off, off the top of my head and just saying what kind of pops into my head. Uh, so that is way less structured than the, uh, the written submission as you can see it, but I feel like if I kind of go off the head, I'll probably talk about more that kind of just made an impression on me. So it will be way more authentic. And on that note, I, um, yeah, I'll just leave it for next, next vlog and see what happens until then.